Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and it is Reef Stock 2022. Everybody's getting lined up, getting ready to go in. Looks like it's gonna be a killer show. Let's go check it out. So this year is a little different. They did a VIP program. So the first people in were the VIPs. So you had to sign up early and get in, but it's a pretty cool opportunity. Come in an hour early, shop for coral. If you're like me, that's what you want to do. Come get the gems. So when I come to these shows, I'm always looking for fun and weird coral. And here we go, we got the NPS gorgs and sun corals and stuff like that. Just real weird, fun stuff. You just don't see it a large scale usually. So pretty cool to see a tank full of them. So these are pretty cool. They're like your standard flower nebs, but they're massive, which is fantastic. I love them. So you guys know me, I'm kind of an LPS junkie, but we've got some pretty cool stuff in here. Super bright elegance, I love that. But then the thing that really catches my eye in this tank is the branching bubble. So you can see we got three heads, you got that kind of marble pattern in there. That thing's sweet. And then right next to it, it's just a pretty cool pectinia. But that bubble, that thing's sick. I love that thing. So I realized I'm showing you all these cool corals, but I'm not telling you who they're coming from, the vendors or anything. I suck at my job. I'll try harder. So I'm checking out the Aquatic Sticks booth and they have some just insanely big acanthos like that's my hand the color is fantastic they got three just giant ones but then look at that thing so gorgeous so i'm at laws tropical and they're doing something really cool i haven't seen before hi my name is molly law this is ken law my husband from laws tropical gardens my husband started reef tanking how many years ago 10 years ago and um, this last year or two we started getting into indoor house plants when COVID hit uh, so now we're combining both hobby passions and we have indoor house plants here and it seems that everybody really loves it and has been um, really excited about it we're hoping to start doing live reef tank um, plants out of the reef and we'll also be doing online shipping soon to everywhere in the country for those kinds of plants I love the combo, plants and corals, fantastic. That was super cool, something I haven't seen before. Aquariums and plants, they all go together, but like reefers and house plants, like it's bigger than you think. But you guys want to check out a tank? Let's check out a tank. So we're checking out the tank at the Neptunes booth. They got a nice little school of yellow tanks. You know, those super rare yellow tanks that used to be everywhere. Gotta love that. Got some pretty cool candy canes. The one I love the most is this giant Satosa up here. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. But yeah, these tanks go up the <laughs> night before. So hey, you see something like this green cab, a little slough on it. Like this tank's been set up for like 24 hours at most, probably more like 12. Like, and it looks fantastic. Everything's open, looking great. So turnout's looking really good this year. Last year, right before, or last year, two years ago, right before that stupid pandemic thing we had to go through, like we had half the space. But this year, we got double the space. The speaker's just right off of here instead of down the hall. Just a fantastic setup. They've done a great job this year. So this year I'm filming the speakers. So I'm getting set up, checking things out. Not sure whose channel they're going on. My channel, Reef Builders, somewhere else. Who knows? But speakers are great. I love these shows for the speakers. And I don't know if this video is gonna move fast enough for you, but 
Uh, the weedy sea dragons, you can see them dancing. The males get really striped in the chest. Uh, they sort of turn on their colors and they do this, and the, the leafies do the same in their dances. They do a, a little bit of mirroring behavior where they curl their tails and they dance. And then you can see the, the leafy's gonna come down and interfere. Uh, that happens from time to time. But so we just finished up with the first talk and it was Paula Carlson. She's the director of husbandry at the Dallas Worldwide Aquarium. I think I got that right. Anyways, she has crazy experience working with those really rare, wonderful fish that you never get to see, like breeding sea dragons. Yeah, how cool must that be? But the cool thing is for like average aquarists like us, she's right there. We can ask her any questions she wants. So, you know, that fish I've always wanted, like a Moorish idol, I gotta talk to somebody who's kept them long term. Should I do it? Oh, I totally should. Will I do it? Eh, probably not. Maybe. I'm at the PNW Micro Booth, and they're making what I think is the coolest new product of the show. Let's check it out. This is Harley. I think we've all seen this little micro reef tank, but tell me about this new small in one tank. This thing is cool. So, this is our brand new small in one tank. We just came out with this tank. This is a one gallon all in one tank, which comes with an all in one filtration. So, everything here is built into the tank. You've got a three-stage media basket for your mechanical, biological, and chemical filtration built in, as well as a little uh, USB-powered return pump, a heater in here, and then you've got plenty of room for a little auto top off as well. It comes with lids for both the display and the all-in-one area to keep evaporation low so you don't have to worry about topping it off too much. And if I would have got here earlier, these guys were $149 here today? Yes, sir. On our so site, they're $159. So your site is? Uh, www.pnw-custom.com. I don't know, I might take that one out. That thing's pretty cool. So I had the opportunity in early 2000, that's back when I had hair, because owning your own business is not easy. <laughs> It'll little wear on you. But that's my brother there with, uh, with Takashi Amano. And he uh, had been to the US twice and I, had, I was actually able to have him back in my hotel room and, uh, and meet with him and show him pictures at the time. And remember, this is, this is early 2001, 2002. And uh, he saw the pictures and he saw our work and he saw the plants and he said, you guys, and I'm gonna get to the reef stuff, don't worry. <laughs> I said, you guys uh, can, you guys take nice pictures, you grow nice plants, but your aquariums lack philosophy. Second speaker's done, it was Mike Sensky with Aquarium Design Group. And it was really about the philosophy behind Aquascape. It was really cool stuff. Um, he got to work with Amano and kind of learn how to Aquascape from him a little bit. And you can see with the, some of the tanks he's done, how that's transferred through. Really cool. And the best part of it is, I got to hang out with him last night at the hotel and just talk tanks fantastic way to spend an evening. All right, we're getting to the end of day one. It's been a fantastic reef stock so far. It's felt just like the old days. Actually, you know what? Better. 2022 is killing it. But maybe my favorite part of the show isn't even the show. It's the people and hanging out with them. Like I said earlier, I got to hang out with Mike Sensky last night. Well, they're having a little get together at the Reef Builder Studio, so I think I'll go there. Day two, show's getting ready to open again. As you can see, a little snowstorm moved in last night. It's Colorado, this is how we roll. But hey, we had a great night last night, hanging out at the Reef Builder Studio. Fantastic, what a blast. And then just hanging out at the hotel with 
you know, the coolest reefers, yeah, my kind of a night. So let's go back inside. <laughs> And then there's my obligatory video with JBJ because I love their stuff. What up, Hi, Reef Talk people? How are you? It was a great time JBJ last night. Too. Yeah, it was fun, right? How's the show I treating you? I stop doing a lot of... Oh, sorry, we can't talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, the show's been great. Uh, Saturday went really well. I think we had a good comeback after two years. Uh, it was great to see a lot of new people who were coming out to the show, who were hobbyists from before, that came back into the industry, and new hobbyists. Um, I think it's going to really bode well for the upcoming year, and you know, hopefully all the stores have a great trend coming out for 2022. Really looking forward to it. Thank you, Scott, for your obligatory yeah. video for me, buddy. Uh, we'll do it again next year. Yes, we will. Now you can you know, check out our booth. <laughs> oh yeah, the booth. <laughs> oh yeah, the booth. <laughs> So Reef Builders is pretty much a reef show, but we got a little fresh water in here. But look at this aquascape. I am loving this rock work. Yeah, something like this really makes me want to set up fresh water. And then, I'm not sure it says like Aqua Week on the light, but man, those are some great looking lights above this thing. Like this whole tank, that's gorgeous. So kind of knowing the anatomy of a coral um, also really helped me identify how, my, how to tell if my coral is happy, right? It's an animal. It's basically a rock mixed with a plant mixed with an animal. So telling if it's happy can be tough. Um, things we looked for, we looked for that polyp extension. Um, was it having a strong feeding response? Did I see those polyps closing on the food or was the food bouncing off? That could be indicative of an issue. Um, when were the polyps extended was actually really crucial to identifying care needs. Some coral are nocturnal. So it's day two, and we just finished up with the Sarah Stevens talk. She's with the Butterfly Pavilion. Sarah is awesome. I've known her for years. She does an amazing job at what she does. But she's keeping Caribbean coral. There's a disease going through the Caribbean right now, wiping out our Caribbean species of coral. And Sarah, through the Butterfly Pavilion, is keeping those coral and taking care of them and helping with the project to, to preserve those species. So she has brand new coral that really nobody's kept before successfully. So her talk was about the challenges of keeping Caribbean coral. You know, those corals that nobody's really kept long term or taken care of and the process of keeping, which was brilliant for like a hobbyist like me. Like, Oh yeah, a new coral. How do I keep that? And she went through the process that she kind of broke that down. I loved it. Really cool talk. So we're getting to the end of the second day. It's really, this is kind of the best part, right? It's a little slower for me, a little more relaxing. I've seen everything. So I'm just hanging out, talking to people. I was just sitting in a booth and it's like, oh, the raffle's going. I should probably get up and do my job. You know, YouTuber, cover the show. I know, it's hard. I'll be okay. Let's check out the raffle, see if it's cool. Should be. Ooh, Tubularia heroinsis. Probably said that wrong. Super cool coral. I would, I'd want this coral. There we go. That guy just got a really cool coral. Should we go check it out? Let's go check it out before the guy takes it. So Tuprenaria heronwensis, I think I'm saying that right. It's like a pagoda or a cup coral that branches. It's really cool. So we got the one up front, one in back. Super rare, fun coral. Gotta love this. So it's fun, as we get to the end of the shows, you really start seeing the deals get made. Standing near the fish tree booth, somebody comes up and says, how much for all the clouds? Yeah, and they sell this way. It's awesome. And there we go, another reef stock in the bag. 
oh, I had so much fun. Like, I know I've said this like 8 million times on this video, but it was back to old times. Like, no mass, no stupid stuff, no worries. Just life as normal. For me too, you guys, you guys know I've been going through a little bit of a hard time. I'm back. Like, everything's coming back to normal. It's like restock, my life's back, like everything's back. And look at this, beautiful snow. I gotta love it. So restock 2022, fantastic time. I enjoyed it. Thank you for all of those people who came up and said hi. It was a blast. And let's do restock 2023. Like, they gotta do it again. Maybe some year we can go without snow though. Nah, I love the snow. It's beautiful. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Laters.